Okay, so I just wanted to show you how I get the the tops off the the moles, and I just scrape them like so. Much better if you've got a steady hand, and you don't have to do this, but. As you can see, it doesn't matter if you go over, spill over a little bit, because you can just scrape it off. So I'll, I'll unmold those at the end when I need them. And the beauty with using melt and pour embeds is they, they're ready so, so quickly. Um, that you don't have to wait too long. You can pour them, make your soap, and then um, by the time you're finished and you're ready to decorate, they're ready. So, we've got some um, Starbucks House Coffee um, ground up. I'm using some uh, brown oxide, which you can get many, many places, but if you don't know where to get them again, I'll put a link in the description box. Um, obviously for a UK supplier, um, if you want to know and you don't know how to find it, just type in brown, brown oxide suppliers and whichever country you live in, I'm sure something will come up. This is the Espresso Martini fragrance, which is absolutely mm, 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 delicious. I don't know if anybody watches Below Deck. I absolutely love that programme. It's on Hey You, uh, which is a subscription based, um, online subscription based for TV shows. And Below Deck and Below Deck Mediterranean is on there. And they're always making espresso martinis. If I had my time again, I literally would go and work on a yacht because uh, that's obviously what they do so I'm just putting a heap teaspoon and a half in there um, yeah if I had my time again I would literally go and work on a yacht um, waking up every morning to beautiful scenery and sea and it's absolutely stunning um, I couldn't do it now because there's no way I could possibly sleep in those beds that they sleep in. They're tiny, tiny bunks. Nightmare. I like a little bit of luxury with the size of my bed these days. Actually, when I do a house tour, I'll, uh, I will do a house tour, but we still haven't finished. Anyway, I'll show you. Uh, my bed's my favourite thing in the house. So I'm putting a nice heaped serving spoonful into there. I guess you could put them in after. after you've mixed it. I don't know if it's going to discolour this fragrance, but I'm actually hoping it does. So, as usual, I've got about 16 ml, so I'm putting uh, 1.6 kilos, I mean. So I'm putting about 50 ml of fragrance into here. It's really strong. I don't know if it, it's thickening up very, very fast. Right, so I'm going to pour this right now. Very fast indeed. At least I'll know that for the... Well, I need some more. F so, with espresso coffee... Oh, by the way, the battery went flat. I do have two batteries, but I literally just didn't have time to swap. So, I've got the two... 
uh, soaps poured there and if you didn't know what fast moving fragrance means you do now <laughs> du, du, du. so I'm not putting any fragrance in the top because espresso and martinis they're brown underneath and then they have this gorgeous creamy top so I'm just going to put a little bit of titanium dioxide in there probably half a teaspoonful and I've got nearly I've got 1.3 kilos left in the jug <laughs> Because there's so much fragrance left in the base, this little layer doesn't need any fragrance. It's not going to make any difference and it would just spoil the topping if it's going to discolour. It would literally just spoil it if you put any fragrance in there. Uh, using the um, brown oxide, it's a messy washer-upper. It's one of those that you've got to throw your sponge out after you've used it it's one of those and you've got to wash your sink out your sink dish a lot of people actually just leave their dishes uh, to wash up the next day um, I don't do that well simply because I haven't time and obviously I need I've obviously got multiple containers of things that I use but because I'm busy I need probably need the pots washing up um, so I can use them again right now obviously there are some inconsistencies in the layered in the soap here you know it's uneven but uh, and we're going to have an uneven layer but that's okay it's fine um, I'd rather not have one, I'd rather it was perfect, but even though it's not, it doesn't matter. So because the top, this soap here, is nice and fluid, that's going to roll down into all those little nooks and crannies that are not even. And the soap will look pretty perfect when it's finished. I don't want it lumpy on the top, I just want it nice and smooth. And the great thing is, my batch size fits absolutely perfectly into those silicon liners from Brambleberry but the Brambleberry ones now they are thicker um, so unless they're higher they might be higher I don't know probably not they don't look it um, but I'll put a link to those in the description box below but just bear in mind that the 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 liner is thicker. I think it's about double the thickness of these old liners but I definitely think they're worth every penny because um, mine have lasted for what we call in the UK donkey's years. I don't know if that's a, an all over UK saying but it's definitely a Geordie saying which is where I'm from originally from the North East. So let's just unmold these um, coffee beans as you can see they're really cute I'd rather have used the real ones but I'm not bothered um, it's just a really simple looking soap because that's what an espresso or martini soap looks like I just thought it was be fantastic addition uh, for my Christmas soaps this year, just to have something different. Oh, 
Also, um, yes, I am doing 12 days of Christmas this year, but rather than do it before Christmas, I'm going to start it on Christmas Day. Um, or a lot of soap makers call it 12 days of soapmas. Um, so you can call it whatever you want, but um, it'll start on Christmas Day and then it'll just continue day by day from Christ Christmas Day onwards. I'm trying to get all the videos made before Christmas um, so that I can literally have that week off and just upload a video each day for everyone to enjoy. So that's our coffee beans unmoulded, so quick, literally only half an hour for those to set. And now we're just going to have a sprinkling of the coffee dust right down the centre. It smells lovely. I'm not a coffee drinker at all. I'm a tea drinker, but I do love the smell of ground coffee. And I'm not like a Thai food or a Tetley drinker. I like my peppermint tea. I don't mind rose tea either. It's okay. Um... Now, shall I put them in the centre or on the sides? I think. Oh, is the soap too fluid to put them in yet? Just yet. I don't know. I think I might just do a bit of a a design, you know. I hope they don't sink. Yeah, actually looks quite pretty. I like it, I like it. And I love the smell. Have I made enough coffee beans? <laughs> Shall I zoom in a bit? trouble is when I zoom in I actually forget and then I move on to the next bit and forget to zoom out again I feel like I want to put some more coffee beans down this coffee uh, grounds down the side but I'm not going to try to show restraint People seem to like that and I know exactly what you're thinking because I've watched soap videos in the past and I'm like, no more, don't put any more on. Don't, you're going to ruin it. Oh no, you've ruined it. And I know people shout like at me like that. And there'll be no glitter on this one. I don't think it needs it. Just coming to the last few now on this one and then we'll have to decorate the other one. So we'll start at this end this time. Just 
drop them in. I don't know if any of you want watch Vampire Diaries. Well, I've watched it that much. I'm now having like nightmares at night where I'm a witch and things like that. It's absolutely crazy. So I've realised that when you have dreams, it's because of something you've seen or me. I've seen something that's spurred me on you know in I used to watch a lot of um murder programs I used to like that because I loved like how they found all the clues and how they found out who the killer was and I used to have nightmares there then as well but there were there were nightmares that are different to what I'm having now so in my nightmares now there are vampires and there's uh, witches no wolves um, but I've really enjoyed that program. I feel like it's something I shouldn't watch. Um, but I love the music and I love like the mood. I think I've told you this before. I love the mood like it's sort of filmed in a dark way. I don't mean, I mean obviously it is dark in that way but I mean dark like the filming there's not a lot of light on each scene and things like that and a lot of shadows and and it's all about love who doesn't love to watch things that are about love I should be way past that now my age and I did watch a lot of reality like but when you watch something that's properly made I don't know the music it is like art so I understand why they call themselves artists right I just think that is so simple but so so pretty so we're going to let that set and we're going to get it cut and I can't wait to cut it so I can't wait to sell it I can't wait for you to smell it so I don't know if you can see I did sprinkle a little bit more coffee grinds on the top but not a lot I didn't want loads on there delicious does that look it feels nice it feels so nice actually now this one it had a bit, bit of soap went down the side of the liner did you notice that so it's stuck on one side so I'm just pushing my knife in and lifting it up and hopefully it'll come out now feels loose
the liners come off so easily. Notice on this one where the soap seized it hasn't got down into the mold very well on this end so it will be a bit um, untidy as a slice there for that one so let's cut this now I guess the good thing with using the melt and pour um, that is honestly I just love how that looks it's just so simple I love simple soaps and the smell it's so strong and delicious so what I was just going to say before is uh, if I put real coffee beans in, I guess the wire wouldn't be able to cut through them. So, by using mountain pour ones, they'll cut through. Just a really nice chunk of soap that'll look gorgeous on anybody's sink yum 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 our delicious espresso martini soap cream silk soap made with real coffee grinds from starbucks just beautiful for this time of year nice and strong and delicious with a creamy topping and cute coffee bean soaps on top I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching everybody and I'll see you very very soon for another video from Eden's Secret.